Okay, ladies and gentlemen, using a calculator, sketch the graph y equals 3 fourths raised to the x minus 2 power. Now, this is basically an exponential function that's been shifted. 3 fourths to the x fits the definition of exponential, and the minus 2 shifts it to the right, too. But what's kind of neat here is we're allowed to use the calculator, so let's do this. y equals in parens, I like to do 3 divided by 4. See how that gives me my fraction. Raised to the, so there's my caret. And then in parens, I need to put x minus 2. See how I had those in parens because the whole power was x minus 2. Very important to group them. Now I hit graph. So I see I have a decay curve, not a growth curve, it's a decay. And if I hit trace, I can see that my y-intercept is approximately 1.8, so it's a little shy of 2. Okay? So, when I'm drawing my graph, here's 1, here's 2. My y-intercept is a little shy of 2. The graph is coming in like this, and here it's asymptotic. When I draw my broken line here to indicate an asymptote, this is the line whose equation is y equals 0. Okay, the domain, as I, sh as I scan from left to right, we're picking up all reals. The range, as I scan from bottom to top, it would be from 0 to infinity, not including 0, of course, because it's an asymptote occurring there. The equation of the horizontal asymptote, y equals 0. So the graphing calculator made a real nice uh, graph for us. Okay, two comments. One, the y-intercept is always good to show, and remember I, I found that by hitting the trace key. I could have also looked in the table. And the second comment, sometimes on the final exam they have you do a graph, and then they ask you for a list of ordered pairs that would be on the graph. If this was on the exam and they said, now list some ordered pairs on the graph, I would just go to second function table and look at this. I have a ton of choices. You see what I'm saying? So if on the exam you're asked to list points, after you graph it, just go to table and you have a plethora of choices there. Okay, we're done.